Alright, so this is going to be another movie review. But well, it's heating up on rice, and um, screw me when he's uh, busy, and I'm getting closer to 52, so it should be done pretty soon. 52 movie reviews in one day, which uh, doubles my previous record from last week. I have 26. Uh, beginning of the end, 1957, uh, Peter Graves was in the very first uh, VHS tape that I ever bought called Killers from Space around the same time. Uh, the story starts out with an entire Illinois town devastated completely, a hopping good time, eh? Well, not really. It's really stock footage from post-hurricane news feeds. Anyway, the Illinois National Guard turns the place into a virtual police state, and they even go so far as to confiscate the reporter's camera. What they are trying to protect, nobody knows, because the residents, all of that, vanished into the air. All the residents vanished, and then you've got this lovely blondie reporter, and you just know that at some point she's going to hook up with Peter Graves. Sure enough, USDA Green, Peter Graves tells us that the government is doing such a good job of protecting the food supply that they hold up a wheat in storage bunker so that the bugs can eat it instead. Now we expect some idiot G-men to protect all humankind from the vicious grasshoppers that spell the beginning of the end. As the title of the movie states, we are all doomed. Fortunately, the hot blondie shows us some cleavage, and I guess she's trying to look like Marilyn Monroe. They should have put Mamie Van Horen or Jane Mansfield in that role. Of course, the predictable ending has a blondie and Peter Graves are in, says, as he's got all the grasshoppers to take a swim in Lake Michigan. I watched this flick after playing several rounds of old-school Atari vid called Millipede on my wife's laptop. Now time for me to watch another stinker on public domain torrent called Beast of Yucca Flats.